uh, just allowing one of our members to share how the lesson impacted them. And here, here's why I'm doing that. Uh, how many know I do surf online? I do follow a lot of you all, so keep it clean, praise the Lord. But I follow a lot of our members, and I noticed that this particular member had listened to the message 15 times. Man, it's rare that I find somebody who listens to the message more than I do. So I thought to myself, wow, what a better way to summarize the lesson than by inviting her to share her experience. So if you all would, would you please welcome with a warm of applause, Mrs. Bridget McRae. Give her a hand clap as she comes. She's coming. And uh, of course, I'm just going to give you some background. She is a fitness and health specialist. She's a mother of two. And uh, she's the wife of Joel McRae, who is our music director uh, here at the church. So thank you for joining me today, Bridget. Thank you, Pastor. I think it's at his own. Pastor. Good there we go. Everyone. And thank you, Pastor Sarah. <laughs> Amen. So I have three questions that I'm going to ask her. And, and I want you to keep in mind that she listened to the message 15 times. And so the first question is, what was it about the lesson that impacted you that caused you to listen to it so many times? Honestly, one of the things that you often say is that faith comes not by having heard, okay. but by hearing. She's listening. I'm listening, <laughs> and I'm taking notes, too. <laughs> but for me, I had to keep hearing it okay. because when you go through life and you have dug this trench of negativity, believing negativity, negative talk to yourself one of the things wow. you mentioned you have to learn to undo that wow. and how can we do that except by God's word wow did y'all get that amen come on give her a hand clap for that that was that's worth preaching right there it, it faith comes by having not having heard but by hearing so she's had to replace that so that helps me with question number two which was what was the biggest point idea or thought that you got out of the lesson as you listened to it? There were two things. When you mentioned uh, take 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8 and apply it to yourself, right. I was done. <laughs> my kids probably thought I had lost my mind, but I was, I was done. I'd never done that. I'd never thought about doing that. I always look outward how we do that with other people, how we're supposed to do that with other people. Okay. But as the second greatest commandment, you mentioned that we're to love our neighbors as ourselves. Well, if I haven't learned how to love myself, how can I be effective wow. in doing that to my neighbor? Wow. That's, that's deep. And it confirmed something that a really good friend has shared with me for a long time. Why are you so hard on yourself? Why don't you be nice to yourself? You do it for other people. Why are you not doing it for yourself? So. Wow. And, you know, as I was talking with her yesterday, just to go over this, you know, I asked myself the question, what does doing other things for people and not doing it for you does to your heart? Oh, it may make you feel good towards people, but I think internally we may get mad at ourselves because we're doing things for others that we're not even doing for us. Amen. Here's number three. How has the message helped to change your thinking? Because, you know, the Bible says that for us not to be conformed to the world, but be transformed with how we think. In other words, if we don't change our thinking, we're going to be the same people we were without Christ Jesus. Amen. So how did it change your thought process from listening to the message? Uh, one thing that you, that you said that stuck out toward the end was that God does not require perfection from us. Amen. And we should not require perfection from ourselves. Wow. So just learning to extend grace to myself. I shared this with you yesterday. Y'all, I slept in till almost 11 o'clock yesterday. I never do that. And my first thought was, why in the world did you do that? And you could have been doing this, this, and this. Whoop. Nope. I'm going to love myself. Apparently, I needed the rest. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> <Moved on. laughs> so, but learning to actually put action to those words where it's not just words, but
but it becomes something with my hand and my hands and my feet that I'm actually doing yes. to show that not only do I love myself, but that I love others. Wow. Come on. Y'all give Bridget a big hand clap. Thank you so much for being a part of the lesson. You know, it takes, it takes uh, guts to talk in front of people. And I, and I know that, but uh, I just believe that what she learned can help because here's the thing sometimes change comes through other people motivating us amen that's why we have workout instructors because they motivate us to do something different that's why we have coaches in life to motivate us in doing something different so if you have your